Hello there, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in which we are playing as the Pale Folk. Now, historical AI focuses will be off, and the custom game rules, no one's going to be strengthened, and it's going to be set to complete randomness, which makes it more interesting and a little bit more fun. But the mods I'm using for this campaign are Old World Blues, of course. Old World Blues is a mod compilation too, so that the unique so that the Pale Folk can have a unique focus stream. Colored buttons, colored events, stage transfer tool mod, and of course player-led peace conferences. Now, at the time of this recording, this is my third attempt at playing the Pale Folk. Uh, obviously, this is my first time on the channel, but playing as a Pale Folk is not going to be easy. Mostly due to uh, manpower, but we'll get into that in a little bit. But let's do Before the Night. Some people realized it was only a matter of time. Something big was going to happen, but reserved places and vaults were either expensive and very limited. Those who didn't get a pass had to make do. Just waiting for the inevitable to happen was not enough. There was just enough time to secretly prepare a place that would keep us safe in the coming years. Where did we hide? Good, good questions to ask. And we have two divisions, a whole two divisions to start off with. Ooh, that's not going to be good. And then only 10 combat width. Uh, as I said earlier, like, I've done this two times before this, me before me recording this episode. So, playing, playing as a pill folk is not easy. And I apologize already, because my speech, obviously, isn't very good. And Vault City. Now, the reason I'm, I'm really concentrating on Vault City right now is because I believe they have Focus, which they have come kill us off. Yeah, Vault Tech Calling, and then they've Call the Flock, so eventually, they're going to come for us. Now, I don't remember if they have robots immediately or not. Ooh, so I'm tempted to just go straight for Anti-Tank. You know, I'm going to do it anyways. I never do this stuff like this, and I don't, almost never recommend you, anyone do it. But I'm doing that just in case Vault City has robots. Because we can probably defend ourselves pretty well as long as we, you know, are smart about it. But let's just say, in one of my previous attempts doing this, it didn't go so well for me. With Vault City. So, alrighty tidy. Before the night. And, so, the description of this event is the same as the focus, but where do we hide? So deep in the bowels of the surface passages in the Carlin Tunnel, a series 1,000 shelves were built into the natural caves of Beowave, inside the closed-off mine shafts in Battle Mountain. So, you can move the capital right now. The capital is in Carlin. Uh, let's see, you can get more water, you can get more energy, or you can get more scrap, which are great and all, but all three of those, we can produce those eventually. We can actually research the technologies like purification stations, power stations, to get more stuff like that. We can always build more infrastructure. But what I'm thinking, we'll get some infrastructure now, which is probably the worst idea out of all of them, just because we can build up this area, Carlin, faster with more factories once we get more and more technology, which is something we're going to really, really, really need. We'll have enough water where we're going and energy for a while, so we'll be okay. But the long dark. We spent way longer underground than the experts said we had to, because the clicking of the Geiger counter still meant that the world above us was too hostile to let us survive. Neither our stockpiles nor machinery was meant to last that long. We would later call this period of our history the long dark. Since most lights in the tunnels burned out without any way to replace them, and no access to natural sunlight, our people were sick, starving and growing more restless day by day. We had to make something we had to make some difficult decisions. We needed to survive. What did we have to do? Well, do whatever we can. Cool. And we'll talk about these natural spirits here in just a little bit. So, long dark. Our people are sick, starving, and growing more restless day by day. We needed to survive. What did we do? Tip! Neither of these choices are good, but may lead to interesting things later on. So, people, it's what's for dinner when we become cannibals. Or, disperse all the cans that we have to make things bearable, which affects these focuses down here. So we can do the dispersed chem stuff, so we have the other kind of mushroom. And then we can choose either side benefits, or contact high. Just depending if you work with the Vault City or you kill them off. Or if you go cannibalism, the other kind of meat. Less non-core manpower, more mobilization speed, and division recovery rate. Or you get political power, and then a thousand manpower. Uh, honestly, there's no long-term benefits here, except that for this one you get, of course, less non-core manpower, which we can offset later on to a degree. But you get more mobilization speed and recovery rate, which is something I really want. So we're gonna go with people. It's what's for dinner. And the unsealing. After many years, we needed to return to the above. It had been too long. Even with everything our ancestors prepared to help us survive, we can no longer sustain this life in the below. Our life underground was meant to last decades, not centuries. We firmly expected to die to radiation the moment we stepped outside, but we didn't. 
What happened? That's a good question to ask. Ah. And honestly, minus 1% pop monthly population a month is not bad. We went from, like, I think, 4 to 3, so whatever. Let's see, the first volunteer is expected to die immediately due to high doses of radiation. <clears throat> Nothing of that sort happened. While the above was not that pleasing to look at, it seemed livable. A quick check to the top side of our sensors revealed the reason. A truck carrying radioactive waste crashed close to the array, making us think the radiation levels were way higher than they actually were. We spent over a hundred years underground because of radioactive waste. <clears throat> but that meant it was safe to return to the above. But we were afraid. We were so used to the dark, even the few lights that remained burning in the tunnels were painful to look at. The sun was like that, but ten times worse. While we could not get send out everyone without pre preparation, we could send small groups out into the surroundings. What did they find? Ruins that had some useful buildings left standing, not bad. Open land to expand into, which is pretty darn good, I like that. Or a settlement that was willing to work with us. Alright, so here's the deal. With the Pale Folk, this is not going to be easy campaign because, if you look at this, conscription law, we can't change our conscription law. Of all things, we cannot change our conscription law, which really, really sucks. However, there are things that could offset that because we got coughing the muted gives us 5% more group of population. If we go down conventional warfare, we get 5% more population, and within our focus tree, we get plus 2 weekly manpower and recruitable population versus phantoms, which isn't very good. You get plus 1% more special forces capacity multiplier, but manpower is going to be an issue. So I'm going to go with a settlement that was working to work with us all. So, Ghost in the Night. Once we had access to the above again, we had things that needed to be done. We did not have the time to build up our resources slowly. If we didn't want to fail just as we were able to leave our self-made prison, we had to take what we could get, even if that meant taking from others. To do that, we used our ability to navigate in the dark tunnels to strike at others during the night, steal their supplies, and leave before they knew what had happened to them. Who led those raids? Good question. Very, very good question. But at least we had a little bit of manpower, which is nice. Uh, I should have done this earlier. We're going to be doing that. We're going to be doing that. Spend a lot of caps, because you never know if we need more guns, which we do need more right now. And these guys are actually regular. So, once we had access to the above again, we had things that we that needed to be done. We did not have time to build up our resources slowly. If we didn't want to fa fall or fail just as we were able to leave our self-made prison, we had to take what we could get, even if that meant taking from others. To do that, we used our ability to navigate in the dark tunnels to strike at others during the night, steal their supplies, and leave before they knew what had happened to them. Who led those raids? So we have Daryl the Echoing. He's well-rounded but cautious leader that focuses, focuses on infantry, which we are going to focus on, or Athena the Harsh. She's an aggressive leader that does not put much stock into planning and tends to be reckless in her actions. Well, we can't be reckless, so we have to go with that guy. And let's go ahead and do the above. We need to dedicate a larger part of our efforts outwards, or more specifically, upwards. We lived in underground long enough, and the above is large and full of opportunity. Great. Oh boy, and they went with Festus. Oh boy. Oh boy. Courtyard inequality. Cool. Pre-war medical training. Awesome. Yeah, they're definitely going to be trying to kill us later on. So we have to go down this way so that we can raid for spare parts. Scare tactics are next up. We are not in a position to defend ourselves properly yet, so we need to come up with some alternative ways to keep, pe pe ugh, to keep people away from us. Some dummies draped in animal guts and blood placed in the general vicinity to the entrance of our underground network will work for a while. Make the above grunners think something horrible lurks in the area. Good. And that should give us just a slightly more defensive... or more time to respond to enemy justifications of war. So, this is my strategy. I'm going to try to remain on the defensive until Vault City attacks, because they ha literally have a, like we saw earlier, they literally have a focus to come attack us. So, which really sucks for us. Which really, really, really sucks. Share our goggles. Photophobia with photophobia managed, because they can go to, they will go to war with us, probably, since they have this. They can court, they can court this. But, mm, they can't just puppet us. They wanted to. We get more attack. So let's talk about the national spirit. So we have this. Photophobia. We get minus 50% division attack. That's an insane amount. 50%. We do get 150% land night attack, which is nice. But that's not great. That's really not great. Minus 50% attack. Oh my goodness. Um, so let's, let's go grab some work as needed immediately. But then I'm going to go to immediately go ahead and start doing our land auction because we need as much entrenchment as possible. Ooh. We got 100 of this. I'm also going to go ahead and do land doctrine for conventional warfare just to get more daily army XP gain because we need that. And so we can get down through our land doctrine as fast as possible. Because we only have three resource slots. But we do get access to a fourth resource slot later on, which is nice. And we are civilized. So, not too bad. We've Ed the Dissenter, of course. The Dissenter or Dissonant? 
Uh, yeah, combination is gone. We have crippling resource scarcity, which hurts our population. Consumer gets factories, construction speed, research speed. So this all sucks. Ooh. We're going to raid for spare parts next. A lot of our equipment in the below is failing. We need spare parts to fix this problem, and we need them now. The quickest way to do so is taking them from others. So, uh, we also have, we have that one, and then we have cannibalism, and then, of course, we have scare tactics, which is good. So, like I mentioned, like, twice already, I've tried this twice, like, before playing as a pale folk. I tried to be aggressive, and it didn't go so great for us. So, basically, the way we got the way we got to do this is to be on the defensive, and then, once we're on the defensive, basically, wear out the enemy, take over their lands, and then core their territory. Now, the scope of this campaign means I'm going to have to restore the state of Nevada, which is cool. That's going to take quite a bit of time. If you want to read about the followers of the Apocalypse, go right ahead. They, they come every game. I don't even care about them. And they'll actually give us a little bit more stability, I think. So, But that's the way we're going to have to play as a Pale Folk. It's going to be difficult. This is going to be probably one of the most difficult nations to play as because you don't have very much to start with at all. Explore the above. Uh, sure, why not? We spotted a few key locations that seemed valuable enough to send... The, teams there to investigate. Who knows what we will encounter? We have been out of loop for a long while. I don't care about that stuff. Let's see. Oh, let's go raid the Vipers, because they're going to be dead soon, so take what we can get, and we need spare parts. Just take it from other people. And we do have a cup of coffee here to keep us nice and warm, even though we're used to the cold, damp conditions of the Pale Folk Underground. And then we'll probably raid the Cyclops tribes next. Thank you. And, oh, you know what? I'm glad we raided the Vipers. They died so fast. It's interesting that we can't raid the Yakuza territories. Huh. Or even the 80s. I guess you could. that might piss them off too much where we'd be kind of uh, not on good terms with them anymore. So, actually, for you guys, let's get you right here. Let's promote Daryl the Echoing. He's going to upgrade. Explore the above. Great. Because we want to do stuff down here. We explore places now, but let's do the below. While we have access to the above again, we cannot neglect everything that we've built below, since most of our people are still stuck here. Machines are failing, and our supports, our supplies are spotty at best. This needs to change. In which we can do... Ooh, we can we need to explore Carlin and Bayway, but we don't have enough manpower, so let's do this. There we go. We need to explore these areas, so let's explore Carlin, our capital, first. 50% chance of an encounter, or 50% chance of all clear, which we might just lose manpower. And then we're going to do Raid Esport. Thank you. Actually, ooh, you know what? We're not even building anything. Ooh. I'm going to do this, because we need factory. We, well, we need factories to make stuff. But just in case Vault City attacks us, I'm really worried about Vault City. Let's go immediately with Subterranean Farms because it gives us 1% more recruitable population and helps us with uh, resource scarcity. You'd be surprised how long prepackaged food from before the war lasts. I only recently had a yum yum doubled egg that probably tasted as good as it did 200 years ago. But obviously our stored food cannot last forever. And while we did show up our stockpiles with the occasional caught mole rat and various edible underground plants and mushrooms we found, large-scale planting operations was just not possible until now. And while growing plants from the above down here is rather hard, mushrooms, on the other hand, are... Quite able to, th to thrive. Send a manual prospectors, we might as well. Uh, this stuff doesn't matter. Actually, weekly war support, political parking. I don't know why, like, placate the followers. Like, why would we placate them? It doesn't matter how, what they think of us. So we finally got that done. I'm going to come back over here and get some reinforce rate. Because this is going to be necessary. An encounter. Oh boy, that's not good. It's going to kill off some of our own manpower. Well, the interests, or interstate, tunnels that we emerged from were clear. As soon as we entered the town that used to be called Carlin, bullets were flying our way. Turns out the gang of people that call themselves the Stone Masons are uh, calling the ruins in the nearby quarry their home. We lost a few men before we could retreat into cover. A drawn-out firefight ensued that lasted until sunset. Since we were already so used to the dark, we struck hard as soon as it became too difficult for them to see properly. Sneaking in behind and a few well-placed stabs in the back, and we cleared them out without further losses. We found a couple of stragglers while exploring the rest of the ruins, but they too quickly fell as well. And we found a whole cache of goodies that had... They, that they collected. Cool. So we lost eight manpower. We got better consumer goods, stability, and war support for three months. So eh, that's okay. Uh, let's explore Battle Mountain next. Hopefully we don't get any more counters because manpower is so precious right now. Rifle territory. Thank you. Ooh, political power. Followers are establishing themselves. That's fine. I'm going to immediately go ahead and do. We could do that. Ooh, I'm not going to lower my defense whatsoever. Honestly, we could use some outposts. Ooh, that's going to be done in November, just for level 1. We need manpower, though. Let's go raid a recruiter for, first. And then I'll I might go well-equipped army if we can. Uh, we 
need three percent more man but it's keep going down keeps going down because of the follower of the apocalypse oof Skullston. hey but let's got more divisions here now they're mostly using ghouls which is good so they probably won't be using robots which is good but well you never know all clear While Battle Mountain used to be a mining town, the time was long over, even before the bombs fell. The old mine shafts were still there, though, and this, that is what we emerged from. There was nothing much left of our town proper, but there were some things left standing that were further out from the town center. One of them being what turned out to be an airport with some intact hangars. While there was nothing particularly ex ex exiting or exciting, I should say, in the area, the troops figured out how to quickly and efficiently find and transport useful things to scavenge. And since we know there are no further threats in the area, we can safely expand into it. We get our manpower back, and Daryl becomes gets 50% more construction speed. Oops, I let it go on. Okay, um, and he gets more equipment capture ratio gain. Awesome! And we now have five army XP. Not bad. Not bad. If I do say so myself, we're going to grab some more civilian factories immediately. And ooh, that would be really good to get a bonus for medical attack. Go and do that and raid Rupee Valley Refuge. So I don't want Vault City to work with me because hold on, let's look at the focus tree because I don't know it that well. Subterranean farms. We can either we're going to fight them, probably, with Vault Tech Calling. New, our new overseers, which we become a puppet of them. Uh, military Factory, take back the knight. So we don't get taxed anymore. Oh, wait, do we get a... Ooh, a way to maybe fight them back. Study for citizenship. The test results are in. The dropout questions. Pump them full of chems. Make them vanish. The benefit of citizenship doesn't look bad. Uh, let's see. Members of the League of Civilized States. That looks pretty cool. Unleash the hounds, people of the grass, familiar faces. Or if we win, we are the overseer now. Three vault city mercenaries, and then turnabout is fair play. Cool, and we could tax them. We could burn the city and salt the earth. Ooh, that's a lot more stability and war spot, which is really nice. But this is probably better to do. Contact other gangs. The future fifth family. Cool. Passage for the 80s, so they don't kill us event yet. And back to raiding, that's so... Minus 75% just by Wargo Sounds is not bad, but we have to wait till they do their focus. Light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, that's not bad. I'm going to go ahead and... Ooh, to get to here, we need dedicated forces, which means we got to be making our own equipment. Uh, but I want to get this research slot down here as fast as possible, so let's grab some more water. Our water supply was based on a filtration water filtering system, or filtration system, that actually stopped working about... Uh, 70 years ago. What we do give our people can't be considered healthy by anyone's standards. A beach is dying of thirst though, but word in the tunnels is that there will be new parts for our water filters coming in with the next rating group. And actually, let me see this for real quick. This one says resource procurement and tool procurement. Resource procurement. Multi-purpose equipment. Resource production. Work camps, dedicated equipment, clay working. Work is needed. Cool. Improvised tools. Resource tools, hmm. Oh, well, we don't need ship stuff. Uh, so we got that done. Let's grab some uh, construction basics. A little more construction speed would be very nice, actually, right now. Cool. Very good, very good. Training some guys, that's good. Okay, 1.2 a day. Mm, that's that's okay, it's not great. And let's go and raid Vault City, because I want them to try to kill us off. Cool. Because my goal is to defend, defend, defend. Let's get some decryption. That'd be great. Conventional warfare is almost done. And we get more entrenchment, which is exactly what I want. And let's explore Beowulf since we have 22, or we had 22 manpower. And we're mobilizing more and more and more. The ja whoa, 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 whoa. The Jackals are declaring war on these guys, even though they're they're going to be fighting. The Desert Rangers? Okay. Now that's interesting. If they lose, then the Yakuza win, they get the territory, and then there's going to be a war between the Desert Rangers and the Yakuza tribes immediately. But the scavengers found something. Oh, they have, wow, H&H &H tool schematics. I get our manpower back and more infantry weapons? Nice. What does uh, that do? I forget. H&H, &H, desert, oh, there they go. Cool. Oh, no longer get cash of loot, that kind of sucks. H&H, &H, you are all clear. H&H, &H, there it is. Oh, look, whoa, plus 20% civilian factory construction speed? That's going to be nice. And industry technology research time? Nice, but all clear. The tunnel your people dug exited into a natural cave formed by a geothermal activity in the past, in the ages past. The cave exit was not that far from where your tunnel intersected the cave. The first thing your people saw was the face of a huge statue looming above their heads. The faded sign on a wall was proudly proclaiming Palikoi 
geothermal, a subsidiary of Poseidon Energy. The building in front of them was clearly shown or showed to be some uh, showed some of the rag ravages of times. I'm sorry, I can't speak. But it was built to last. Entering it, they expected resistance, thinking that this would make a really good stronghold, but found nothing apart from some unreasonably large cockroaches. Still, within it, they found some construction machinery in good condition, maybe leftovers from some renovation work that could be made working with some maintenance. And obviously, the geothermal plant itself will be vital to our progress, in which we get, uh, hey, a civilian workshop and 20 more manpower back. Nice! So that should really help out our production of these outposts. Because we're going to need a lot of outposts. I, the Desert Rangers won't kill us off, which is great. We're going to go for Battle Plans next, too. But we just got to keep an eye on everything else. Next up... Oh, oh 31%. Ooh, 30%. You get 5% more cons consumer goods. Hmm. H and H is not bad. Wait, do we need that now? Ooh. Hmm. Camp Pusher... Slaver. This is what I'm talking about. Slaving a Bastardino. Cool. Political power. Less stability, but you do get better consumer goods and slightly more political power, which is eh. Which is meh. We're going to do Pal Palikoi Geothermal, which looks pretty good. Pretty darn good. Ooh, what do I want to spend this on? And I will go with Outsider Battalions. It doesn't make as much sense for us to do this one, but we need to get as much compliance every, every single day, so we're going to have to do that one. Settlement Builder. Ooh, is there anything for... Actually, output would not be bad. Ride Eternal. Not bad. I'm going to need to do this one for more entrenchment. I'm going to choose that one. I normally don't... I usually choose expanding the gang. But we got to get this guy just because we need as much entrenchment and defense on core territory as possible. Because when the 80 starts knocking, they're going to come try to just really just murder us. So that's not cool. Hey, at least we're making a few. We got 18 anti-tank rifles, which is kind of nice. Kind of nice. Cool. Come on, Vault City. Come kill me. Come kill me, please. Old world ideals, huh? And I'll do repair the generator. Our generator has been limping on its last legs for years now. It's time to use some of the supplies we've got as replacement parts and try to bring, ba bring it back to full function. We get eight more energy. Nice. And reduces our spare parts. Uh, let's piss them. Oh, do we piss them off? We must have already raided Vault City, which is good. Another division? Cool. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to... Well, we have no manpower. Five divisions. Let's get six. So we have two, two, two. And then we're going to increase the combat width of these divisions, because we need to do that. Construction speed, yes. Immediately do that. So that now... Hey, we already finished uh, some of the uh, outposts. It only took it until November. That's all. To make one. <laughs> to make a single outpost, but whatever. Hey, we got three factories. Look at that. That's so great. Coffee's pretty good, too. Not bad. Moderate resource scarcity, minus 10%. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. Repair the generator. And resource-wise, hey, 11 water is great. Now, I do know, like I said earlier, the 80s are going to try to come and kill us later on, which is not good, obviously. So we got to be prepared for that. Let's go ahead and grab some gliders. Because even though we don't have the military industry for it now, we will need them eventually, so we must do that. And then maybe work on infrastructure and stuff like that. Come on. I'm tempted to just go to war with them myself right now. It takes so long. Oh, they got so oh, they got a lot of divisions. Ooh, boy, that's not good. They have a lot of divisions. That's not good. Can we get that done? So this will take until when? January 29th, which is so much faster than just having one civilian factory on it. But access to terminals. Now, that our immediate situation has improved, we can access some of our computer terminals that have lain dormant for decades. The knowledge stored in them, as well as the utility they provide, will help us progress faster. Also, it seems that our ancestors packed the terminals full of pre-war information for all eventualities. We should probably study these as soon as we can. Probably a good idea. Research speed could be really beneficial. Uh, water, that's cool, but we don't really need that. We got enough energy cells as well for now. How are you guys looking? Go ahead and train if you need it. Do we have enough guns? We actually do, which is good for now. Undying outcasts, please, Vault City, come kill me. Come kill me, come on, kill me. Oh, that's 150, that's, ooh. Ooh, modify power station resource output by plus two, that's not bad. Uh, let's see, outposts, it's not, hmm, not forts. Oh, it actually is forts, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Hmm, mm -hmm. that stuff is all okay. I'm really tempted to get this guy right now, because 20% is really, really good. Or just go fighting the army. Because that gives you plus 20% to construction and military factory speed as well. How many are we losing? We lost two. Hmm. 
I'm not sure when we can raise our war support later on until they declare war on us. <clears throat> let's just do a let's just do that one for now. I think that's probably the best bet, just because we get a bonus to researching our industry. So that's awesome. Really, really awesome. Let's see, industry, more more industry stuff, local workspaces, get more output. We just need more output right now. Can we build ourselves up? Yes, that's nice. That's really nice. How long will this take though? Hopefully not too long. Oh, a little more than a year. 13 months. So that's not ideal. Ooh, there goes Ruby, Ruby Valley Refuge. Do they have unique focus tree? That'll be a challenge someday. Maybe I should play as Ruby Valley Refuge and try to defend against the 80s. Because I'm sure it's possible. It won't be very easy. But I'm sure it's possible. Cool. And next up we shall do tool procurement. Just to get a little more output. Because we're going to need as much output as possible. So we got that fourth research slot. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You can get more cap and growth. Special forces technology. And better infantry equipment, which gets it cheaper to produce. More reliability and more soft attack, which is awesome. But fortify the entrance. We might want to do that too. Mm, division, defense, and core territory. Plus 20%. That's really nice, actually. That's really good. Trade with the above. Better economy and trade laws, which are okay. You know, okay. You get more resources, which is very nice as well. Hmm. But more defense on core territory, which we are going to be defending on core territory quite a bit. Ooh, energy, energy, cell gain. Cast, air technology. Well, let's go ahead and do this down here as fast as possible, because over here, you get more encryption, which is okay. Resource efficiency gain, infrastructure construction speed. Ooh, you get more population. I didn't know that. Cool. Better living standards. Nice. Actual production lines. We're going to go get making our equipment first. So, reorganizing the stockpiles. Resources and equipment are spread thin in the tunnels. We need to check everything we have stored away. There are probably things that got lost in decades ago, and some dusty storage rooms that people forgot that even existed. 50% stability. Not enough. Uh, let's see. Research speed. Uh, do, do, do. It's only 10. It's seriously only 10. And we're going to need to do that. So, that's probably one of the things we're going to research next is uh, field hospitals. Because, look at that. We're still mobilizing, but we don't have that much manpower still. <clears throat> Excuse me. Woodworking, awesome. I'm, you know, I'm glad that we have actually four, four research slots now, which is great, 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 great. So this is going to help us compete a little bit more with Vault City. But oh no, not robotics! Please go to war with me, please. The longer we wait, the stronger they become. They got plenty of manpower, more divisions than us probably. But we do have we do have outposts. We do have outposts. <clears throat> ah, battle plans good, good. We're gonna race down the street as fast as possible. Get more defense. Yes, field fortifications are great, and it's not 180 days. It's 168. Awesome, because that's been modified because we have been doing uh, what was it? Ah, minimal resource scarcity, which is great. Because research speed, it does hurt us still a little bit, but a little bit, but that's okay. Thirty-five percent. Look at that. World tension's going up. Awesome. Six. Hey, look, sixty-nine. Nice. Very nice. I'm going to immediately grab this, just so that we can produce these factories a little bit faster. Hey, we got four now. That's great. Now, instead of finishing it in March of twenty-two seventy-seven, it'll finish in October thirteenth, twenty-two seventy-six. Much better. Uh, uh oh. There we go. See, Vault City will be going to war with us. I called it. I knew it. I'm glad that's going to happen. Because we got to defend ourselves. Uh, clay working. Anything else that could give me more defense? Let's go here. Warrior training. That'd be good. So that we can get more defense eventually. And more breakthrough, of course. Organize agriculture. Reorganize the stockpiles. Great. And managing our own equipment. While scrounging up existing equipment has given us more time before we run out. It was only a stopgap measure. We need to start producing our own things to be able to sustain our livelihood. And please, stop training. Oh, you were so close. You are 81% of the way there. Well, somewhat close. Construction speed. Mm. Let's go and grab this. Alright, so do they have any robots? It does not look like it, so they shouldn't have that much armor on them. Oh boy, this is not going to be easy. And why are you over there? Spread it out. 2-2-2. Two, two, two. i do this too. Now this is why I already grabbed... Well, population first of all. But this guy, because he gives you more defense on core territory and more max entrenchment, so you better move over and entrench yourself now, because they have like, it's, a, it's literally a seven-day focus for these guys. So come on, entrench, entrench, entrench. Oh god, it's thirty percent. Nice, increased by two every day. Max entrenchment will be reached in ten point two four days. Wow, point two four. Okay, noisy the Reaper. Conventional warfare. Yes, 
base conventional warfare and advisor raider defense. It's not much more, but hey, I'll take anything I can get. Did you have any upgrades? Oh, oh, look at that. Even more entrenchment. Oh my goodness. Oh, raider. Oh, no, 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 no. Idiot savant. Wait, 20%? Was it always 20% for idiot savant? I thought it was a little bit more, a little less than that. Actually, I thought it was like 5% or 3% for idiot savant. That's a bad. 20% more equipment capture ratio gain. I gotta go with Rudy right now. So we can get more max entrenchment for everyone, but that's not bad. Reaper the noisy. Do you have anything up here too? No? Okay. Alright. Uh call the flock, they're still doing that. Cool. We got just a minuscule amount of manpower still here, but we gotta save it. We're still only, of course, ten combat width, but these guys, they're probably ten combat width as well, I'm gonna assume. And we got outposts here, so hopefully we can hold. For the love of god, I hope we can hold. Oh. Hopefully they wear themselves thin. And actually, if I can core. Like, Vault City's territories, like, 3,000, that's not great, 4,000 not great, but Vault City itself, and those resources will be set to take out Nevada. And take out Psychops tribes, Antelope tribes, this will not be bad. Okay, seriously, how long is this focus? I thought it was seven days. Oh, now they're doing Cold of Flock, okay, there they go. Let's see, that was seven days for that. That's probably 60 days, so, yes, 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 yes. Local workspace is great, great, great. Let's grab some monthly population. That's not bad. Uh, we're not re out of resources. Cap growth. So we're going to need some of this too. Can we get this yet? No, we cannot. Dynamite would be good as well. Actually, that'd be very good. But we don't have the industry to support it right now, though. So there'd be no point in even getting it. Uh, planes. We can't even make planes. Naval modules would be kind of a waste. Research? Yeah, let's grab some research speed. I should have done that before. My bad. Actually, do we get field hospitals yet? No, not yet. Hmm. Oh, hey, great. Another division before the war starts. Woo! Well, you know what? I'm glad I went with the military army theorists early on, because we almost have 25 army speed. I know, there they go. Yes, this is what I've been waiting for, and this is my, th like I said earlier, my third attempt at playing as the Pale Folk, because this is going to be not an easy campaign, oh god no. But now, we oh, the other kind of meat, oh, I love meat. Oh, we get more mobilization speed, oh, I want to do that right now. Ah, uh, I need I need to mobilize a little bit faster, because we're going to get a lot more manpower, and more recovery rate would be good as well. So, while the mushroom farm works fine and well, it's not quite as filling as we were used to, but we are too few to choose among our people, so time to look around. So it looks like we're holding on pretty well so far. Uh, maybe, except down here. They shouldn't be able to break our lines. They really shouldn't, especially if they're only fighting with ghouls and infantry. We, we got lucky. Okay, we got really lucky that they did not choose too much of a robotic focus yet. Or they don't have any robots yet. But, we'll see. I'm going to get some dynamite for later on. We don't have enough manpower to put them on. Kill fighters. Do we have enough support equipment to at least do this? We do. Oh, I was going to kill our population right now. Our manpower. But it'll save us manpower in the long run. Oh. Good. 18 versus 27. You know, not as great as I'd hoped it would be so far. Oh boy. Can you come down here and do... Oh, Desert Rangers? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> oh, that's not good now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey, but they gave us more... Ay, they gave us more war support. Great. So now, that was a waste of time doing that over there. I'm going straight for well equipped army. Even more boosted construction. Nice. Cool. So now the Desert Ranger's helping us out. And they'll show up eventually. Uh, 52 versus 61. Still not that great. They have more than... They probably have more than double our industrial capacity. Actually, how are these Desert Rangers looking? Hey, they got demo teams. They actually might be able to push through these enemy lines eventually, too. Cool. Troll War and Grabber Territory. Oh. Well, that's not good. White Legs. Oh, they're fighting a two-front war. Huh. Good for them. Hey, look at that. They're actually trying to attack? Y'all crazy. Y'all real crazy. Uh, you're learning to become a Desert Fox, which is great. Hopefully, uh, Commanding Officer Daryl the Echoing will do the same thing. Dismantle stuff. Uh, help settlements out. Give us more civilian factories. Just more, 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 more. <clears throat> I could help the attack, but I'm going to wait till they attack again. Probably. I don't want to lose any guys, because we're already out of manpower. <clears throat> Attacking now would be a waste of time. Okay, that's just a stupid attack. That's just stupid to do that. 102, that's quite a few guys we've lost versus them, which is not very good. Why? 
Why do you attack? I don't mind attacking here, but we gotta wait for that. And we can mobilize a little bit faster, which is great. So, the last thing we'll do for this episode will probably be... What do we do? Fortify the entrances, which should not be bad. We'll do dedicated forces to get a bonus for land doctrine. Now that we've had some means to outfit our people with this decent equipment, we need to think about, about forming proper military forces instead of the haphazard reading groups that we've had up until now. We've had some difficult or just some different ideas on how to approach this. But I do want to ask you one thing for the next episode. When we do a light at the end of the tunnel, we get basically blueprints for research. But should we do the new gold rush which, in which we get 15% more resource efficiency gain, which is pretty darn good? Or... Do we reopen the quarry, which gives us 10% more construction speed? Now, I love, 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 love construction speed. But I want, to know, I want to know your opinion. Should we do the new gold rush, which sounds awesome, or reopen the quarry? Let me know in the comments below. Ooh, look at that. Oh, suppression and division organization, or ooh, more attack and less defense. Ooh, ooh, I don't know for that one either. Let me know your thoughts on this one. Should we get more organization? Because that's a flat 10, not 10%, but a flat 10 more organization and a little more suppression. Or... More attack and less defense. Let me know in the comments below. But I hope you enjoyed today's first episode of playing as the Pale Folk. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow when we will take over and conquer Vault City. Thanks for watching, and have a great rest of your day.